Hi, I'm Patrick Clark, and I des I've designed the most comfortable sleeping bag you can get. This is 100% wool. That means it has wool on the inside, wool batting, and the fabric on the outside is also wool. And the fabric is very soft merino, high quality merino wool. Um, so the reason why I designed this bag is because I didn't like synthetics. They they, you, you wake up, you feel clammy because the, what happens with synthetic fabric, and it doesn't matter, there is no type of s synthetic fabric that doesn't do this, is it traps moisture. So when it traps moisture, your, your body it has, uh, is trying to uh, release moisture when you sleep. Uh, it, it's called um, insensible perspiration. And when your body is doing this, it can get trapped if if it's not allowed to move freely. Um, so synthetic fabrics, they trap moisture, they hold moisture, they block it, they make it so it's hard for it to leave your body. So then they, they hold it in, and when they hold it in, it, it creates a problem with your temperature regulation, and you feel, uh, you feel moist and clammy, and so you're not comfortable, you don't sleep as well. So the wool, the advantage to wool is the fact that you sleep better. It, it's a quality sleep. So most people think that that there's only two factors to consider in sleeping bags, and that is weight and temperature rating. But I've added another factor that hasn't been talked about, and that is sleep quality. So this sleeping bag improves your sleep quality, and it does it at and it's still lightweight. It's still lightweight. Four and a half pounds takes you down to 20 to 30 degrees. So depending on you know your own your own uh, body and how warm you sleep, but um, but it not only takes you down to 20 to 30 degrees, and but it also allows you to sleep better. And I'm going to demonstrate how this particular sleeping bag works. This this is a minimalist design. And it's not, and it doesn't compromise at all on, on comfort or performance. That all of the features that either are in this bag or not in this bag make it perform, in my opinion, the best. So um, it has no zipper, and it has no hood. And the the way it works is that there's flaps that that hold it closed. You your body weight actually holds this bag closed. Now that sounds, you know, it, kind of, it might sound a little, you know, how can that possibly work? I mean, it, it would seem drafty. Well, I assure you, it's less drafty than a, a bag, a traditional bag with a zipper. And I will show you how it works. So there's a, there's a place, a foot box here at the bottom. And, and then and the, there's no zip, there's nothing, no zipper from there. And there's these flaps that are about eight inches on both sides. And the idea is that you want to get these flaps underneath your body. So what you do is you, you get your feet in there and then you start wrapping one side under. And then you kind of roll to one side, get that those flaps under and then you kind of roll to the other side and take your hand and pull the, the other flap and then you roll that side over and then once you're there you're you're like you're in a little burrito and uh, it's like completely sealed off from any drafts and you can tighten up the around your chest it's kind of the last part you just kind of tuck it in around your neck and around your shoulders and uh, and it, it's extremely, it comes right up to your chin, so there's not any draft coming in. And the fabric is stretchable, so it, so it, um, it pulls up real snug up against your neck. So this is how it works. And, and then, um, like, as far as the hood, like, so why have a hood? Because you're not using the hood for anything but when you sleep. So why don't you, what you do is you just use your, your hat that you're wearing during the day. And then, like, let's just say, yeah, but you need more than that because, you know, at night it's really cold and so you need something more than that. So, so what you do is you take some, some clothing, like a sweater that you're not using, 
and you and you add that to to your hat and then you put that over you and then um and then like there's your hood you have you you have your hood is already built in in the west where the rest of your wardrobe has has your hood waiting for you so you don't need an extra hood that's actually attached to your sleeping bag and um so the reason why this is this is better than a, with a traditional zippered sleeping bag is because because you can get out of it. Like let's just say, you know, you want to get out, and like it's like instantly you can get out, so you don't feel claustrophobic. So so I mean that's one thing. Like that's that's pretty huge because I mean I don't know about you, but sometimes I hear little things rustling in the wo woods, and I'm kind of wondering how, you know what I'm going to do, how I'm going to get out, if I want to get out. And then, um, and then, so the other thing about getting out, you can also get in. It's, it's real easy to get back in, you know. You, you throw it over you and you, you just like do this. And then, then you're back in. It's like, it's like much quicker than fiddling with a little, a zipper. And, uh, so that's, and then another, the, the other advantage, comfort advantage to this, closure system this zipperless closure system is that is that you can move around inside your bag so you're not stuck like a mummy like who wants to be a mummy you're you can like you can move if you you can move both ways you can move inside your bag because because the the zipper a, a real tight zi a zipper you can't like move your your legs because you know it's stuck in there, you know. So, so in this bag you can because it expands. You you let let go on the flaps just a little, and you can move your your legs up up closer to you. So you can you can get into a, a you know like different positions. Like here, I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself back in here. Okay, so so I'm I'm pulling these flaps. This is how you do it sideways. Here's the flap. And uh, the bottom flap and the top flap. So, so there, there. Now I'm I'm back in sideways, and then, and then um so so I'm laying on my side, and say I, I want to like you know say I, I don't want to lay straight out. I want to like you know go into a fetal curl because I mean for one thing that's where you can get most of your warmth. If it's really cold, and you get into a fetal curl, you can you can actually stay warmer. So I'm doing this inside my bag. I'm, I'm completely wrapped up tight, no drafts coming in, and, and I've, I've moved, I've changed my body, and, and you couldn't possibly do this in a, in a zippered mummy bag because you, you couldn't, you're, you'd have to take the bag with you. So that, so I'm, I'm moving, that's, that's one, you know, main position most people want to sleep in. And then, but another thing, you can actually do it with the bag, so you can take the bag. And it's sort of the opposite. The fact that the bag, you can let loose on the flaps and move your body inside the bag is one thing. But another thing is you can, you can tighten up the bag and, may, and sort of be the opposite, where the, the bag is so tight that, you, that you, can move with, you can move the whole bag with the bag. So... So here, here is how I'm going to do it with the bag. I'm, I'm, I've pulled it tight, and I'm going to keep the bag with me, and then, and then I'm, I'm going to take the bag, and and do this fetal curl position like this. The fact that the bag is expandable and contractible, and and adjustable, and also the fact that, that you, um, that it that the and also the fact that it's the fabric is stretchable that all of these things play into the how this the dynamics